if you heard my town hall meeting. Yeah. My basis is I ask questions. That is what is expected of me as a physician. That is what is expected of me as an ER physician. Today I'm going to ask you a question. What gives my voice more authority here today? Nothing. My credentials, my qualifications does not make my voice count more than what yours is. Every mother, every daughter, every grandmother, every person here, their voice counts. So do not give me more authority than what you've been giving the professionals for the last 80 plus years. That is the first thing that I ask. But why should my voice count for something here today? And as you can hear, my, my husband, he's very eloquent. He is a lawyer, they are good with words, but he meant every single thing that he said. And he laid through a bit of a history. On part of that history, there's African blood that flows through these veins. And we gave up a lot for these three children standing, sitting in front of me. And we have joined Jolene to our family, and we've got a four-week-old that we just added. We gave up a lot to come to this country, and we've been grateful every single day. But that means that we know what you stand to lose if you do not stand up for his moment. And we've got every day to learn. practical reason. I've been a part of the establishment for long enough to know when we are lied to. That's all. Yeah. If you believe for one moment that 18 plus months ago that any decision, any guideline made was for the health and safety of each one of us, you are sorely mistaken. Because nothing was based on health and safety of the human population. And that I know enough of, because I've kept people alive. I can tell you that we've been lied to. Yeah. Up until today, I qualified in 2005 as a physician. I've not had one stain on my record with the grace of God at any regulated body anywhere in this world. I do believe it's probably going to change maybe after today. I expect that. But I'm ready for the fight. I'm not standing here today as a physician. I'm not going to tell you anything about what's going on, what treatments to take, what decisions to make. Because the point is, it should be your choice. When I became a physician, I took an oath to say, first, do no harm. But way before that, I was raised by a certain set of rules, tend to be, tend to be um, perfectly clear. One of those rules were, thou shalt not bear false witness. And that is Amen. what I'm saying here Bombarded as my profession was hijacked. A lot of people think 18 months ago. It started way before that. We've been part of the most successful business industry ever. The business made healthcare and pharma care. And what I can tell you is from this day onward, claiming that you are going to follow the science you better be really careful what you're saying. Because the word science was patented in 1902. And since then, it has been used for every single agenda that they could find. What I will say from now on is, I won't follow the science. I'll follow the facts. Amen. truth that 
it shall set us free and nothing else. Amen. I speak to people every single day. I'm unemployed officially, but I speak to patients every single day. And the amount of fear and the amount of heaviness on people at this stage is palatable until you show up to a place like this. And we need to start realizing if we're gonna be fighting for something that we lost 18 months ago and we're fighting against slavery, we need to make a mindset change. We're not fighting against slavery. We're fighting to get out of slavery. Yeah. We've Amen. been in slavery way longer than 18 months ago. Yeah. So as you can hear, the samurai code um, runs deep in our home. We are an academy family. So I'm going to finish off as well with a quote. If anybody has not watched this movie, go watch 47 Ronin. And this quote comes from, from that. It says, none of us knows how long he shall live or when his time will come. But soon, all that will be left of our brief lives is the pride our children feel when they speak our names. And that is why each and every single one of us is here today. Thank you. Thank you, Aubrey and Dr. Killian.